This is my FT897 mobile radio, and I want to get a antenna tuner going for it. So I found one online and, and got it ordered. I picked up this antenna tuner, LDG Electronics, for my 897, and it works really good. But I was thinking it's very cumbersome in the mobile to have this separate box hanging off the back of the radio. There isn't a good spot for it in the car. And I was thinking the 897 has this spot for battery pack. I never use it with the battery pack. I only use it mobile. So I was thinking of a way to put that tuner inside the radio. And I noticed there's these two knockouts here. So I could put a couple SO239s there and jump the tuner over to the main antenna HF side of the radio. Then I could jump the DIN connectors over and I would have an internal antenna tuner. So I'm going to look into that. This is what the tuner looks like with the cover off. And it looks like that printed circuit board it'll fit with no problem inside the 897. So I'm going to go for it. Removed the PC board from the original case. Drilled some holes and got it on standoffs on the bottom plate of the 897 and it seems to fit in there quite well so now it's time to wire some things up I've got the in and out SO239s mounted where the two knockouts were in the back made standoffs with 440 screws and nuts the unit is ready to wire we had to remove the old SO239s from the tuner and wire over to the ones mounted on the back of the radio. So that all took place pretty well. I had to run wires from the LED and the push button start the tuner switch and I put my own switches on top of the radio so it could be gotten to a push button and a LED. Also put a connector in line so it can be pulled apart in case you've got to work on the radio, it can be unplugged. So there's the push button and the LED. And the back panel shows all of the connections. I had to come up with jumpers to connect things in the back. A DIN cable. Couldn't find a real short one, so I had to kind of coil it up. And I had to come up with a real short jumper for the PL259 connections here. Then the right angle goes off to the HF antenna and the right angle on the right is for the UHF VHF. So everything is pretty much self-contained now and we'll have to run some tests and see how it works out. Okay we have the unit in the car we're going to give it a test. We're on six meters but really nothing going on on six meters. But I can show that the Automatic antenna tuner is working pretty good. Now we're on 10 meters and it is coming in uh, okay. 10 meters is doing good today. And the tuner worked really well. So it's doing the job. This is the antenna I'm using on the car. It's a quad band. Diamond CR8900A, which does 440, 2 meter, 6 meters, and 10 meters. And it works out pretty well, and it's really good to have the tuner to go with it. This is the duplexer to split the HF frequencies off from the 2 meter and 440 so they can all be blended into the same antenna. So that's my tuner project for the 897.